Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Jackson County Board of Supervisors meeting for Monday, June 3rd of 2024. And with me today is Don Schweiker, Nan Flagel, myself, Mike Steinis, are your county supervisors. Elisa Smith is our county auditor. Good morning. Bjorn is IT, and Luann is our executive assistant. And Mary is here with the media. And first on our agenda today is Jaden Shuckle. Our assistant county engineer. Good morning. Morning. Uh, first on the agenda is a utility permit for Creek Enterprises, uh, South Fork, Section 23. So this is right along. Uh, it's our 33rd Street, but you know Summit Street outside of Makokota here uh, by the Livestock Exchange, but just to replace a damaged overhead pole. So <laughs> right out of your yard. It's out of my yard, but it was still not working. Well, it was in your yard? Oh, yeah. Oh, is that? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the tree. Everything's good? Um, yes. Mind the tight, Jaden, all that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah. Motion yeah. approved. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the utility permit for Creek Enterprises uh, as presented. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. aye opposed. Motion carried. Uh, next up is for the RCTP fiscal year 25 awards. Uh, so ECIA sent a memo along uh, with the recommendation of uh, projects. Um, let's see here. Uh, the ranking first would be Preston got awarded or they're recommending award for the city of Preston for 25,000 uh city of Lamont for $21,679 and city of Bellevue for $23,321 so um just this ECIA uh, went through and ranked the projects and this is their recommendation so we well ECIA and then also there's uh, a committee of yeah. seven member I believe what is it six member committee yep. um from three different counties um that rank each so again it, it comes down to a tiebreaker if it was and it appeared there was a tiebreaker uh, two tiebreakers in this one um so it goes back in the history of payment that who's received what when and where so hope that that's fair to everyone uh, concerned. Um, hopefully next year they'll pick that back up. That's coming from the way now. This is about that seventy-five thousand we provided. Yes. Yeah. So moves. Second that. I have a motion and a second to approve the RCTP uh, fiscal year twenty-five awards as presented. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Uh, that's all I have. And just give a quick update. Uh, you know, I was talked about a couple weeks ago uh, some damage that the railroad caused to 334th Street uh, near Smith's Ferry Road, north of Bellevue. Uh, we met with the railroad and their contractor and representatives. Uh, and <laughs> uh, discussed the damages. Uh, we were able to come to an agreement on compensation for the damages and also uh, them to get permitted loads for the oversized overweight uh, loads going in and out of there. So uh, we made progress on that. Hopefully we see the compensation you know, within the next couple of weeks, but if not, I'll make sure to follow up. But I just wanted to update on that since we discussed that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, construction projects, they are actually they started the Y61 mm -hmm. project. They've been doing the PCC patching. That should be done tomorrow, depending on what happens with rain yet today. But tomorrow and scheduled for mid-June yet for the asphalt to start getting laid down. So, okay. which isn't that far away at this point. But maybe a good project. Yeah, um, it's probably a good time of year. I mean, I know they're doing. They're still making a lot of hay, but uh, planting season pretty much over, and it should be right in the mix of things here. So. Again, be patient, please, with the workers on the road. I know there might be some one-lane traffic at times, but uh, that's progress being made. Hopefully, uh, 
maybe we can get the paper to promote the fact that during this time the rodeo will be going on and mm -hmm. suggest another path of travel to get to the rodeo. That seems to be one of the bigger touristic draws in the county and that feeds a lot of people from the south part of the county. So uh what is the alternate? So that's the best way. <laughs> yeah so when we during the overlay there will be there won't we won't have a detour out because there'll still be one way traffic with a pilot car. Uh we will be doing intersection work at the intersection of Y61 or 250th Avenue or, and Highway 62. Uh and that will require a detour up, but that is planned to happen after the overlay. So that would be after road. Yeah, yeah. But during yeah. earlier time, yes, it will be inconvenience, I guess, but depends. And well, I know we'll be more there. suggesting that as people normally will go up to Andrew and take the Lamont, you know, blacktop or whatever, it would just be better if you went up 61 mm -hmm. and cut across the Bellevue Cascade Road, go up 62 and cut across that. Just you know, because during this time it'll probably be one lane and it'll just take a lot longer to get there. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're going. People get a little excited, yeah. Yeah, and after and after the day's over, you know, they won't be working at nights, but there could be either uneven lanes, you know, because I got a lift here and a lift down here. So there could be uneven lanes, no pavement markings, what have you. And there'll be appropriate traffic control time and warning of that. But yeah, there will be yeah, challenges. So, at 308 Street, got its pavement markings completed last week, so. Looks good. Project They're is. really happy. Yeah. I'm sad to say one of the mm -hmm. gentlemen that pushed very hard for it has passed, but uh, just he got to see the road go in, but that was it. You know, send him our best wishes in the family anyway, and uh, it's a very nice addition. So that's all I had. Unless all right. Any questions or anything, but. Thank you, Lord. Thanks, Jane. Thank you, Um, are there any visitors or citizens uh, on the Zoom that would be more approached to board today? Speaking or hearing none. Um, Lisa or Luann? I just yeah, I'm just oh. okay. We'll just hang on a minute. I'm moving fast. <laughs> she said we're moving fast. So like, when, when do you leave? leave? Huh? When do you leave? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> I'll be driving during that RTA. Yeah. I hope you'll be a passenger. You're I can listen just like you do a Hands on. <laughs> Hands off. Hands free. <laughs> Hands free. <laughs> And we are joined by Becky Chapin, our uh, human resource administrator, director. director. Good morning. Hi. Uh, good morning. <laughs> so we have a few staffing changes taking um, place in the Veterans Affairs Department. Debbie Schrader, who is the assistant director, um, has resigned her position, which was effective May 28th. So I would ask for a motion to accept the resignation from Debbie Schrader, effective May 28th, 2024. So we'll make that motion. Second. Motion to, and a second to accept the resignation and with a thank you for her service. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And Lucille Elliott, who has been with us, has transferred to the Certified Veteran Service Officer Secretary position to the assistant position. I would ask for a motion to approve the wage for Lucille Elliott in the amount of 2481, effective May 29th, as the Assistant Veteran Affair Administrator at 30 hours per week including authorizing the county auditor to issue bi-weekly paychecks for the same. So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve the hiring and the wage scale for Lucille Elliott as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And also Brianna Kirk, who is the administrator of Veterans Affairs currently, is also resigning her position, which will be effective this week, Friday, June 7th. I would ask for a motion to accept the resignation of Brianna Kirk, effective June 7th, 2024. So we'll move regretfully. Second. I have a motion and a second to accept the resignation of Brianna Kirk, again, reluctantly, and wish her well. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye opposed? Motion carried. And then although Debbie had already um, resolved to resign her position as the part-time um, assistant, 
I did speak with her about the potential of remaining on staff if time allowed to help through the transition with Lucille leaving the only one in the department. I talked to the chairperson of the Veterans Affairs Commission this weekend, and they would like the opportunity to retain her as the interim director to have somebody in that position and a support role for Lucille, as well as assist with training uh, once the new director or administrator is hired. We've done that two other times in the past. Um, it seems to work out. We just use them on an as-needed basis, so it would be a point of con a direct point of contract for Lucille. She would be able to come in at the end of the year and help through the last claims and budget process um, and some of those things going forward. So I would ask for a motion to approve Debbie Schrader as the interim director at an hourly rate of twenty-seven eighty-seven per hour, effective June tenth, including authorizing the county auditor to issue bi-weekly checks for the same. Is there uh, how the hour is going to work? Is this if she comes in or how the hour is going to be tracked? Is it does she have to be in the office to get paid? Is this from home? She will come to the office and it will be on demand of Lucille's lead. They've already got a day that she's willing to come in um, to go through the last claims period um, with after payroll and making sure the so will it, it will be based on appointments made or something like that? I, I assume, yeah. So it'll, it'll be in the past, it's been fairly limited uh, with Lucille transitioning to the <clears throat> assistant position. She hasn't had as much hands on experience with the veteran in order to keep the appointments going. She may need, you know, somebody there for her first couple of appointments. She's been transitioning with Brianna over the last couple of weeks here. I don't know if she'll feel that need or not, or just more of the management technical side of the operations of the office, what she'll need to. Well, at least she's been with the office for a period of time that she knows the ins and outs of it uh, and hopefully it can be a asset to. Lucille and keep things rolling for the veterans affairs. Yeah. When are they? Uh, when are they expected to? What's the timeline on hiring a new one? So they're going to review applications on Wednesday and then coordinate. Has it been posted to the public? Yes. So the application deadline closed for the administrative director the thirty first, so last Friday. So they will review. The, they're going to move their. They moved their monthly commission meeting from. Was it the second Wednesday that they met to this week, Wednesday the 5th? They're going to review the applications. 31st of May. Oh, it was. Okay. Yes. I didn't realize it was posted that day. So are we approving this until the director's hired or? Um, it there... it will be into training the new director. So I would say possibly the first week um, until a new director is appointed and then that decision could be made. Okay. So much. Second that. I have a motion and a second to approve Debbie Schrader as the interim director at uh, wage 2787. 2787 as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. And although the um, Veterans Affairs Commission does appoint the director administrator, um, Don is going to sit in on the interviews with us. Hopefully, we're going to be able to report the email status into next week just to give us some insight. Appreciate that, yep. and I think it's a good, you know, good fit, and uh, yep. good to fit in on it anyway. If that's somebody's had that experience, yep. so yep. appreciate it. That's all I had. All right, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Good morning. I need good morning. Yeah, I need a motion to approve the minutes of the May twenty eighth, twenty twenty four board proceedings and the May twenty eighth, twenty twenty four work session written by Auditor Smith and authorized publication in the official newspapers. Absolutely. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the May 28, 2024 board proceedings and publication as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I need a motion to approve and authorize the auditor's office to issue warrants in the publication of the claims listing in the amount of $389,570.53. So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve the claims um, as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I need a motion to approve and authorize the chair signature on a joint legal representation letter from Allers and Cooney to prepare a 28E agreement related to funding the 911 communication services within the county. So moved. Second. So I have a motion and a second to approve the chair's signature on the joint legal representation letter from Ehlers and Cooney to prepare a 28E agreement as presented. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye opposed. Motion carried. 
I need a motion to approve resolution number 1037-06-03-2024, certifying delinquent leisure-like sewer assessments to the county treasurer for property tax collection. And that is in the amount of $4,121. So moved. Second. Motion and second to approve resolution 1037-06-03-2024 as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I need a motion to approve resolution number 1038-06-03-2024 for an operating transfer to temporarily transfer money from the general basic O1000 fund to the FEMA EOC Henson grant fund, which is the 27002 fund for $40,000. And the reason why we need to do this is because right now this fund is in the red. We anticipate that we will not be receiving any funding prior to June 30th. So we need to get this out of the red. And then once we get the, once we get the money and then we'll transfer it back. But for right now, for accounting purposes, we need to get this back into the red, into the, into the black and get it out of the red. I see in the claims that they've been purchasing some equipment for the, yeah. 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 EOC. So. Yep. So we'll Second. Motion and second to approve resolution 1038-06-03-2024 as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I need a motion to approve invoices for $12,688.88 to Midwest Construction Consultants, $12,214.15 to Rock River Electric Inc., $260 to Tri-State Porta Potty. LLC and nine hundred and fifty five dollars and twenty eight cents to Walmart Inc. for a total of twenty six thousand one hundred and eighteen dollars and thirty one cents and authorize the chair signature on the pro project cost recap for the law enforcement center for the month ending May 31st, 2024. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the invoices as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. I need a motion to accept, place on file, and authorize the chair signature on the county recorder's report of fees collected for the month of May 2024 in the amount of $37,041.04. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the uh, also, uh, chair signature on the county recorder's report of fees collected for the month of May. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That's all that I have for the board today. Thank you. <clears throat> and the win. Okay. Do you want to give a report, John, quick? Or? I, I can give a quick report. Uh, sure, come on up. So John Hansen's here with Midwest Constructions uh, giving us a brief report on the uh, law center. Yeah, it's coming along pretty good right now. Uh, the electrician's about 98% done. Uh, plumbers are pretty well done. Uh, security electronics is supposed to start today, and we have one more area of floor to do. Uh, that's the epoxy stuff, or yeah, the epoxy. So they got to do the booking area, and they'll be done with the epoxy floors all around the jail is done, and uh, carpet and control room are ready for the security electronics people to get in there and start setting up equipment. Uh, I'm starting to do a task or punch list in the front so I can work my way back to get the, a list put together for the contractors. Architect and engineer are scheduled to do their final inspections June 24th. So, uh, I Does that give us an anticipated day we might get an occupancy rating so we can start actually moving in a little bit? I'm trying to get the fire sprinkler uh, system certified and uh, fire alarm system certified as fast as I can so that we would have that even possibly prior to the 24th uh, is my goal is okay. what I'm trying to get accomplished right at the moment. Uh, they're, they're supposed to finish up the kitchen by Wednesday so I can start setting equipment up in the kitchen. All the equipment's here. I've been putting it together and trying to get that ready so I can move it over and get it plumbed in place right now. Uh, there's a couple things that we're looking at. Uh, I had to change the tables in, uh, in uh, maximum security areas. Those tables that they had originally uh, are 
too wide that they they're circular and they got wide chairs and take up too much room in the area. So fortunately, they hadn't they forgot to order the tables or even include them in the bid. And I told them we weren't going to accept any uh, any uh, extra charges for labor to put them in or or overhead and profit, but we'll probably have about twelve to thirteen thousand dollars worth of tables, you know, purchase. Yeah. So So these weren't figured in on the original? They weren't figured out in on his bed. He was going off a of one page from the plans that didn't see the future right. tables, strongholds industries. And fortunately, they weren't ordered because they wouldn't have worked in that particular area. So I changed them to uh, three, four man tables that will work out better for. I've been working with Andrew and the Sheriff on it and trying to lay it out over there so that it was a more effective layout for them. So fortunately, we got it beforehand, but. Uh, and there's only one other thing that I was, well, they have to have, if they're going to get the refrigerators, I don't know if they buy them out of the budget. I'm trying to get a proposal to bring to the board. And for what they need, I told them to get a proposal and we'll bring it. And then you guys can decide what we want to do with that. So again, uh, the equipment wasn't uh, in on the main, on the first bid or on the? And on the mezzanine bid. Oh. Uh, in the second bed on the mezzanine. Yeah. He picked up all the bunks and locks and everything up above, but he is looking at a upper plan of the mezzanine and failed to see that there was four future tables down below. And uh, so. No, but like the refrigerators, for the, I'm assuming for the kitchen. There's one for the, there'd be one for the EOC room, one for the, we're talking about one for the EOC, one for the break area, uh, one for the kitchen, and then two small under cabinet, one for the exam room for storage of medications and such, and then one for the control room, under counter refrigerator. Okay. I'd really like to get the, I'm trying to negotiate some stuff, get the, Floor finished it right now. This vehicle sally port is sealed concrete. It, it, you've been in the day room, seen that gray color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would really like for longevity, probably get some epoxy down in that area with some silica sand for an added skid surface that I could bring to you and you could consider. I don't know if you're interested in something like that or not. I mean, How slippery is the current surface? Oh, uh, the current surface. When it's wet. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a little bit slick, but uh, that can be handled with the sealer, too. I can put silk in the sealer, but I want to get a deduct for the sealer. I deleted an area way back when that they didn't have the epoxy. So I'm trying to get a credit for that and negotiate some stuff to see if we can get it in a reasonable amount. If we can get it for four or five thousand dollars, I think I'd strongly suggest that we go to that and get it more of a finished look. Area. But um, I know we're running tight on cash. I'm trying to watch everything we've got right now. Good. Well, yeah. do the best we can. Yeah, and uh, as far as the fairgrounds, I. I waiting for a couple of documents, uh, final documents back. And uh, that way I can bring the certificates of substantial completion to you. Jeremy and I went over the other night and we finished up all the stainless steel trim around the uh, and everything. And Jeremy's looking at the doors tonight. I uh, had a complaint about the doors all week, and all of them but one leak. The back three ones are my main concern right at the moment. I know why the other ones are, but we are going to cock them ourselves. It's what a jam needs. I've never seen a stop on a door where it's not welded. So we're going to cock that, and I think that should resolve our problem on those back doors where the carpet is. And uh, so we're just trying everything we can to stop it, but it's up to the contractor course to stop it 
They may have to go to a magnetic trim or a seal on it. But we've been looking at it, you know, trying to find out so we can direct the contractor with the new, but I wanted to try that first. How long is that caulk going to last doing it that way? It, it's inside of the jam, so it, it's not outside exposed to the weather. But I think that rain, enough rain's getting in between the steel doors and the, and the jam that it can get and migrate down into it, so. So it's still something that the contractor has to take care of. Yeah, the contractor needs to take care of. There's a couple items they got to take care of, but for the most sure. part, they're up and running. Well, yeah, as long as they're up and running and uh, look things over good before we sign off. And yeah, well, we uh, they're on the hook for a year anyways with okay. that one year warranty and stuff. But like uh, then saying we don't want carpets to get ruined and right. stuff like that, that they need to get on it. I mean, yeah, so, I'm constantly getting wet every time we're getting these rain showers. It's not not yeah. good because I'm sure there's nothing in there drying them out either. Uh, they're, currently, they're dry, but I agree with you. I, I don't like the situation, so I'm trying to push to get it done for you. So. And did our locks all get switched around? And... Yeah, no, they still got some locks to think, uh, switch, and then I'm looking for some keys that they didn't for some reason, they didn't send us, so I'm trying to get an answer from a uh, contractor and doors. And they said that? doors, yeah, they sent they sent keys to the fairgrounds. More X A3 one, and, one and yeah, X one and three. So they got so those keys were sent to the fairgrounds. Oh, well, I didn't know one, I, they just keep me in the dark. Yeah, also, yeah so I, <laughs> I, 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 I did. Yeah, I was up. gonna say, I delivered them last. Wing back to you, mm -hmm. I think, after our meeting. Yeah. Well, I will double check because I'm unaware that they've switched those locks on the doors and Moline Glass needs to get over and correct that weather stripping. And I found, I was with Amber the other day and found where they hadn't cocked something up. And since we're cocking it, I'm just going to put some cock in it. Once we know we got it resolved, then we can force the contractor to do something else. So. Yeah, that's all they sent us was just the one and the three. So that's all think, we were missing. Well, that, and I don't that, think they've rekeyed that from that, the construction lock to a regular lock. So we haven't received keys yeah. for that. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. I mean, when they get it done, I'm sure they'll send us keys. Well, we need it's a cylinder so. for to match the other one. That's a construction. I, I thought it was a construction cylinder in there. Okay. Meaning it's a opposite key of anything we have right so it should match the door going out or or amber isu mm -hmm. door or something yeah but it shouldn't be just its own key own separate key yeah it's i would up. have to look at our at our schematic to make sure that's the door in between well, i just want is it a pink key an orange key i just we need to make sure of it's a when they key it we want to make sure we have the correct oh that way yes uh -huh. yes I yeah. believe it should be whatever key goes to Amber's ISU's outside door. I think it's orange, but I mm -hmm. we need to make sure. Yeah, yeah we do. Keep <laughs> on it. Keep on it. Yeah. Appreciate the update. Okay. Yep. You guys need anything else? No. If you need something from us, let us know. You know where to find us. Uh, Bucking will be closed off this week. So we can't go in there or we'll be stepping in wet. Sure. Crazy, so. Let's not do that. Yeah. Stay out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They're a close one, so let me put it that way. <laughs> so All right. Okay. If you thank you. Us, John, you know where to find us. Yep. You know where to find me. Yep, yeah, I do. I found you yeah. yesterday or Sunday. Whatever. I'm trying to fix it. Thanks, John. Yep. <laughs> Luann? Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> All I have for you today is the calendar. Um, tomorrow, Tuesday, June 4th, um, is primary election day, which is why we're trying to get Lisa the heck out of here today, because she's got a lot going on. 9 a.m. tomorrow morning is the Regional Transit Authority, the RTA meeting interview, um, probably by Zoom as well for all of you. 11 o'clock tomorrow morning is the TAG meeting, your annual meeting for all the counties. That's in Dubuque or by Zoom for any of you that want to do that. 
Wednesday, June 5th at 4.30 is a Wednesdays are possible meeting at Innovate 120 for any of you. And then I go to Monday, June 10th at 4 p.m., which is an early childhood council meeting in DeWitt, Cornyn. And our next regular meeting will be Tuesday, June 11th at 9 a.m. And that evening at 7 p.m. will be a special Board of Health meeting um, downstairs in the community room for Cornyn. Anything else? Sounds okay. good. That's it. Thank you. Any other reports for the board this morning? JCA last week, and it was just uh, a couple of business type things and updates on a few projects and stuff. So we want to know nothing to report. Iris is continuing on with their Dressler project, trying to work through all that. Um, we had a couple of residents that wanted to keep their wells that weren't able to or approved to keep their wells. So that um, was getting addressed. Basically, all them wells have to be capped off. So um, that's going forward there. They had some issues with out in Leisure Lake here a couple of weeks. So ago, we had Elizabeth telling us that she needed to get out there because they were having some backflow issues. Sounds like that's kind of a design flaw where it's coming to a T and over the winter when there's not much usage, it's causing a dry spot, a backup spot that once they start using it again, then they fall into issues. So they're going to kind of be talking to their contractor about how they can redo that. So. Not all of that was with Iris. Okay. Um, there was a Destination Iowa meeting this morning. I missed, but I heard that one fairly well. Yep. Yeah, trying to get all their answers done with the DOT there and trying to keep moving forward with the joint between county and city there to keep the project going. Well, hopefully that still moves forward too. Yeah, that'll be a nice project. So we'll keep working at that. Motion adjourn. Second. Have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Meeting adjourned. Have a great day.